Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, welcome back to the AWS Cloud Demos. My name is Murli. So in today's demo, we will look into how we create the um, uh, encryption uh, for our objects uh, in S3 and we will use a custom managed key, which is KMS. Um, as you can look on uh, look into the screen, you can see um, that we will be uploading objects into the uh, S3 bucket uh, with uh, some encryption with a custom managed key, which is KMS key, and we will use uh, KMS symmetric key. And we will discuss a lot about uh, symmetric asymmetric keys and, and how we use the KMS key to encrypt our objects and and um, uh, how we will use and monitor um, and track the objects uh, and KMS activities in uh, AWS CloudTrail. And we will finally integrate a Athena with the CloudTrail. Uh, we will inspect the logs and see uh, what we can find from the logs uh, using Athena. Okay, um, so, um, so without uh, further ado, let's go ahead into AWS uh, KMS key, which is key management service, which is basically a managed service that makes it easy for you to create and control the encryption. Uh, AWS KMS is a managed service that makes it easy for you to create and control the uh, encryption keys and use to encrypt your data and uses the hardware security models okay, uh, to protect the security of your keys. So KMS keys are used to uh, encrypt and decrypt the objects um, uh, in your S3 bucket, and it also supports a wide variety of services uh, in AWS, like uh, you know uh, AWS, uh, EBS, RDS, and and there's a lot of services that uh, which um, you can uh, do with KMS. Okay, um, and uh, with KMS you can create and manage encryption keys in a central and secure location. Okay, so and easily you can easily rotate the keys. Uh, there you can also enable automatic rotation uh, of the keys. Uh, I will I will show you in the demo uh, how we will do that uh, shortly, and also um, uh, KMS also provides the auditing regulatory compliance and you know uh, which, which makes it a powerful tool uh, for your data in the cloud okay um, so coming back to what is an asymmetric key and an asymmetric key so basically symmetric key is a security key that is used to encrypt and decrypt the data Okay, um, so symmetric key algorithms uh, uses the same key for both encryption and decryption. So this means that anyone who has the key can both encrypt the, and decrypt the data. Okay, in contrast with the asymmetric key, consists of two separate keys, one is public key and private key. Okay, asymmetric key algorithm uses a different key for uh, encryption and decryption. Okay, so I think um, I think you can go ahead and read more about uh, AWS KMS is, and also uh, you can spend some time understanding what KMS can do and what are the other services that KMS supports and uh, how uh, you can uh, leverage the encryption uh, process from the KMS. Okay. Um, so uh, I will attach this diagram. Um, so what we are going to do today is uh, we will set up a S3 bucket. We will upload an uh, object. We will encrypt it, and we will uh, um, and also monitor the activities using a cloud trial. And we will finally um, analyze the logs uh, with uh, Athena. Okay. So and now that uh, I have already logged into my console, uh, go ahead and log in into your console, uh, and let's go ahead with the demo today. Okay. Um, so before that, um, I have uh, created a bucket policy, which uh, I have created a IAM role, which is useful for us um, to, you know, uh, create a KMS key. But uh, you don't need to give all these permissions because I have given this because for the demo purpose, but you can go ahead and remove whatever is not needed for you. Okay. Um, so for this reason, I'm going to go to the um, AWS console and let's begin the demo. Okay, here we are. Um, so let's go ahead and create a KMS key. Um, so I think uh, if I go back to the diagram, right, uh, I can see um, that uh, the first, I think we need to assign the KMS key to the S3 bucket, right? Um, so if I go back to my console again, and uh, if I go to KMS key, uh, key management service, okay, and then go ahead and click on create key on the right side that you see, uh, click on create key. So there you go, you see symmetric key and an asymmetric key. So as we discussed, symmetric key is used for both encrypting and decrypting the data. Asymmetric key will create a public and private key. Okay, but for now in this demo, uh, we will go ahead with asymmetric key. You can give a try with the asymmetric key. Um, but for now, let's go with symmetric encrypt and decrypt option selected. Okay, click on next, and then uh, create an alias name uh, for this, uh, which is, uh, for example, in my case, um, um, cloud demo key. Okay. Um, maybe you can give any any alias that you you'd like to give. Uh, write some description over here, and then click on next. I'm gonna give it. Um, I'm gonna leave it because uh, it's optional, and. Uh, 
coming here um, to the key administrative permissions you should define a permissions like uh, who can access the uh, KMS key and what AWS services um, can access this KMS key right so for example in my case uh, my S3 has to access this um, KMS key uh, so uh, we have to give permissions uh, to the AWS services or to the uh, AWS users IAM users or roles uh, who can administer this key through the KMS API for now um, I do not have any name um, that I haven't created anything over here yet uh, okay so what I'm gonna do either you can go ahead and create a user and then assign um, uh, as a user as a key administrator or you could create a role because in our case we will create a role because um, uh, we want to you know we want to assign this uh, to the uh, AWS S3 right um, so now that uh, uh, you need to create a role now go ahead and open up um, uh, IAM like so and open that in a new tab like so and click on roles go ahead and create a role for this um, select the AWS service and select the S3 because that's where we want to assign um, this uh, permission to so click on next um, sorry you select S3 and click on next and now um, okay let's create a custom policy for this if you can cl click on create policy it open in an another tab okay and uh, as I told you before, right, I have created this policy over here. Let's copy this and uh, put it over here. I will explain a bit more of, about this um, shortly. Uh, so just go ahead, copy this uh, whole IAM policy. And uh, this is in the file. I will, I will add the links in the description box below and also in the uh, information cards. Uh, so you should be able to copy this uh, whole um, IAM policy okay go back to copy this and go back to the IAM console and uh, when you are in the create policy page and click on JSON and just copy this and remove and paste it okay so basically what I'm trying to do here is okay so if I scroll all the way to the top okay mm, so I'm going to give some permissions to cloud trial where you can describe update trial create trial you can start logging stop logging okay uh, to the uh, resources uh, to the AWS resources so you can uh, in my case I just put start but you can specifically mention if for example if you want to assign this permissions to your S3 bucket you could just put your S3 bucket here so you um, in my case I just put start because for, for the demos only okay and so you can replace it for whatever you want like for whatever services for specific services or for specific resources that you want this uh, permissions to be applied okay um, so now I have given this and uh, also the requested region is US East 1 in my case I'm gonna go ahead with US East 1 and if you go uh, to the bottom I have given a basic basic uh, CloudWatch permissions as well which is in the region of US East 1 and also um, some configs you can see IAM attached role policy um, so uh, you can see here right like uh, KMS you can um, the role can enable the key rotation you know create alias create key disable key um, so there are a whole bunch of permissions on KWs that I have given uh, uh, in the US East one region okay and also I have uh, given this S3 bucket okay so put bucket put object uh, update object create the bucket and all these permissions okay and um, I hope I hope this um, policy gives some idea and um, if you click on visual editor right you can clearly see what are the permissions that we have given to this um, so you can see a cloud trial cloud watch config so we have given a bunch of permissions okay to uh, to the principal um, to the role sorry and um, so what we can do is we can um, go ahead and once you are done with this right and you can remove some permissions that you do not need uh, for me in this case I'm gonna just put it and uh, um, use this uh, in my case okay because I'm gonna use this role for some other purpose as well so um, once you're done with this and just click on next um, tags and you don't need to add any tags for now I just go ahead and click on review policy uh, which is uh, um, just go ahead and name the policy which is merely um, CloudTrail or maybe KMS key policy now you can add the description that you would like and go ahead and create a policy uh, 
okay so so we have created a policy here you can close this window and go back to the I am role uh, where we have uh, clicked on create policy right now you go ahead and refresh this button you should be able to see the policy that you just created which is Muli KMS key policy and go ahead and click on next and let's name the role um, similarly like we have done for policy um, like Muli uh, KMS key role it is easily identifiable for me um, in the KMS console okay so that we uh, we were here right um, so go ahead and click on next create role like so so you should be able to create the role um, and then uh, if you you can close this window for now and go back to the KMS and uh, you wouldn't be able to see the role here yet go back to previous again click on next so that um, these roles will be refreshed and if I go to the search box and search for Murli I can see Murli KMS key role which is of this path and the role okay so just go ahead and select the Murli KMS key role uh, and uh, uh, allow the key to uh, key administrators to delete this key you can probably enable this or disable this it's up to you totally um, so I'm gonna leave it uh, default and click on next and this is uh, key usage permissions so basically select the IAM users and role okay so I will just zoom in a bit select the IAM users and roles that can use the KMS key in the cryptographic operations right um, so you should be able to select um, the users or roles who can use the KMS key okay um, so in our case we have created um, role which is Murli KMS key role so I'm going to go ahead and select the same role that we have uh, we have done in the previous uh, section right so just select the same role for this and um, you could also add another AWS account uh, but but I don't think you need for this uh, demo okay so go ahead and click on next after you select the KMS uh, key role go ahead and click next if you zoom out a bit uh, you could see the key, key type is um, symmetric symmetric default this is single region key it's not a multi-region key um, this is my cloud demo key okay and um, you could see the key policy uh, this is the key policy uh, which is giving uh, to this um, uh, role uh, and uh, you can also see uh, allowing access to the key administrators this is all permissions that we have set right in the previous sections we have selected those check boxes so we are giving which role can have access to this uh, KMS key and which role can delete this key and which role can uh, you know um, uh, enable the automatic rotation on these keys okay so go ahead once you're done once you review uh, this uh, KMS key and then go ahead and click on finish once you're happy and this will be created as you can see cloud demo key which is now created um, and uh, you're now ready with the um, Key. okay we'll talk about a little bit on this KMS key okay so if I click on cryptographic configuration you can see the cryptographic configuration as we have seen in previously so now if you click on key rotation right you can enable the automatically uh, key automatic rotation of the key um, uh, KMS key every year right uh, so you this is automatic key rotation so you, you do not worry about you know uh, uh, creating the key every uh, year so if you enable this it will be uh, done automatically okay um, and aliases uh, you could create an alias uh, another alias but I don't think I need it uh, for this demo so I believe uh, I believe you guys have uh, now a good idea on what KMS keys is and um, so go back to the customer managed keys you can see our cloud demo key here okay um, okay so now uh, we are done with the key poly key uh, uh, the KMS key okay I'm sorry KMS key now close this window go back to the key usage uh, sorry go back to the oh shit I, I have closed my AWS console uh, okay go to sign into my account again um, okay so now that I've signed into my account again okay now let's go to the uh, S3 bucket and let's see how um, you know how we can uh, create a um, uh, and uh, use the existing KMS key okay uh, I think I have one more news guys um, uh, which is so basically recently uh, AWS has announced that uh, you know uh, the S3 is now automatically encrypts all the new objects okay using KMS uh, it's not it's not KMS so I'm sorry it's it's using uh, Amazon SSE s3 encryption okay um this is by default enabled for all the objects uh, this was just posted on january 5th 2023 which is very very latest 
um, and all objects will be encrypted okay uh, you can I will add this link in the documentation um, description box below so that you can go through this uh, and read a bit uh, about SSE uh, S3 encryption I think we will do a different uh, demo but not in this video uh, because we are demonstrating the uh, KMS so we will do it in a separate video okay um so that's a good news and go back to your console and click on s3 so now go ahead and let's create a bucket okay um so click on create bucket uh, once you're in the dashboard uh, of s3 so go ahead and create bucket and now let me check the name chemist key bucket which is in us east one region and I'm going to enable uh, uh, ACLs and I'm going to enable the object writer. Um, object writer remains the object owner, uh, which is me, and un uh, unblock uh, the public access and acknowledge. Let's go ahead and come down to the default encryption. So as you can see, the default encryption is enabled by default uh, for all the objects, uh, So, um, which is a different way to encrypt. But in our case, we have created a KMS key. So let's go ahead and choose AWS KMS keys, uh, okay, using SSE KMS. And choose from your AWS KMS um, keys because we have created one. And if you drop, if you se select this drop down, right, we have created a cloud demo key, which is this one, okay. Uh, select the cloud demo key. Um, if I zoom in a bit, I can see this is a cloud demo key. All right, uh, zoom out a bit and go ahead and create uh, enable the bucket key. Um, okay, I think everything looks good and go ahead and click on create bucket. Yes, uh, I think this name is available. I'm happy that um, we have uh, successfully created a S3 bucket uh, with the uh, encryption enabled. Okay, now let's go ahead and upload objects. Okay, and let's see how um, our objects will be encrypted. Okay, so I will drag and drop a file. Okay, let's drag our uh, channel logo. Okay, um, so this is our channel logo. Um, let's go ahead and expand properties and scroll down a bit. You will see specify an encryption key and use the bucket settings for default encryption, which is KMS key. And this is our ARN and uh, which looks good. Um, all right, uh, I think you don't need to do anything. So just go ahead and click on create, uh, upload, okay? So once the upload is done, okay, close this. And now select uh, the file and click on open, uh, open button, okay? Click on open. Now it opens in a new window. I can see the image, right? Because the the object is encrypted but i can see the image uh, why because we have um, clicked on this open aws internally has created a token for us to view this um, object uh, and then if you go to um, so this added some uh, query params uh, x amz signature and token and it expires time limit and uh, signed headers, you know, it added a bunch of headers, okay, a bunch of uh, query strings uh, for this object to view. This is all for verification of uh, uh, um, encrypting and decrypting uh, using the KMS key, right? So that's why you're able to see this um, uh, because it has added all these query strings and tokens uh, which is necessary for you to view this object, encrypted object, okay? But what if I have, uh, what if, zoom out a bit, what if, if I go to this file and object auctions and uh, let's say um, we will make it okay so if you go back to the bucket again select the object okay select the object and click on or maybe just click on the object okay and s from the object options make the op ma make public okay click on make public now this object is public right and also if you look into the uh, permissions uh, or maybe go to the bucket and click on permissions here uh, the public access is also off that means this object is should be publicly available right um so if i go to the objects again and click on uh, the object and let's say i will uh, let's say copy the uri okay i have i've made this object public okay so now that everybody should with this url should be able to see right so if i go and copy this object url and open a new tab and paste this right 
but still you are not able to see the object why because because the object is encrypted so if even though you make the object public you will still not be able to see the object because this is encrypted so now you can see this message right um when you paste the url of your object and you can see the message request specifying server side encryption with aws kms managed keys require aws signature 4 okay so uh, in order to decrypt this uh, to view this object it needs a, a aws signature 4 and also aws kms managed keys okay otherwise you will you would not be able to see the object so that's how the security that's how the secure uh, you can secure your objects in s3 okay um okay um so now that uh, we have done we are done with this um uh, object and also we have seen how we can encrypt and how uh, the objects are secured with the kms keys okay now what i'm going to do uh, if i go back to the diagram right um so we have created a um KMS key, we have uploaded an object to an S3. Now uh, we can set up a trial, okay, um, and we will monitor whatever the activities uh, that are going with the KMS key, okay. Um, so this is for compliance and uh, monitoring purposes. So if I go back to um, the bucket, um, maybe select, uh, I mean, click on uh, the search box and type cloud trial. And select the cloud trial like so and here um, let's say we have um, let's go ahead and create a trial okay and let's name this trial um, something like um, really KMS activities KMS key uh, or maybe only monitor KMS key activity okay so we have we already created a s3 bucket so we will use the existing one okay so click on that and select the KMS Muli KMS key bucket select choose select the Muli KMS key uh, bucket and you could also put prefix for logs um, it's it's totally up to you it's but it's optional uh, I, I I prefer to put a prefix uh, which is nice and also log file kms and encryption no you don't need encryption there um, uncheck this box and uh, and if you scroll down a bit i think that looks good and go ahead and click on next and we will also select the data events what are management events and data events uh, so basically capture uh, the management operations performed on your aws resources whatever the management option operations that are performed that will cap that will be captured by our cloud trail and also uh, we will lock the resource operations performed on a uh, no, within within a resource okay so we will see what they looks they look like okay shortly so we just enable the management events and data events for now so I think uh, I think before these uh, management events and data events, let's discuss what is cloud trail for the, for for the people who doesn't know what cloud trail is. So basically, cloud trail is a web service that records activity uh, made on your account and delivers log files to you. So basically, uh, the recorded information includes the identity of the API caller and uh, I, the the time of the API call and the source IP address of API call and uh, request parameters and response elements, you know, written by the AWS service. So cloud trail enables like governance, compliance, auditing, risk, auditing of your AWS account. There are a lot of services that uh, cloud trail offers. So um, you can continuously monitor and uh, retain the account activity related to the actions across your AWS infrastructure structure okay um so cloud trail uh, is um is uh, nothing but uh, you know provides the event history of your aws account activity so if you want to track what's happened and what's uh, what was happening with your account it cloud trail is is the one uh, solution for you and um and what is the difference between cloud trial and cloud watch cloud watch logs uh, so cloud watch uh, cloud trail is cloud trail is nothing but uh who made the call and you want to track who who made the changes to your aws account but cloud watch logs is nothing but um you, you know you can you can track what's being changed or what happened or debugging or 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 what went wrong with your services you know that that sort of stuff okay um so that's the difference basic difference okay but you can go ahead and uh, google it for uh, you know uh, for cloud trial and cloud watch differences but that i'm not going to cover that in this video but let's discuss that sometime later okay so um so 
you select the management events and data events okay and uh, this is the log events that we want to monitor and track and then go ahead and select the basic switch to basic uh, so if you click on switch to basic event selectors right just click, click on continue and select the s3 from it and choose the bucket um I don't want to you know uh, monitor current and future s3 buckets so just disable this and uh, um, and if you select the bucket from here so you can see browse uh, individual bucket selection right so you go ahead and select the only KMS key bucket select this bucket this is what we have created just now and also uh, make sure you select the read and write uh, for the API activity because otherwise you wouldn't be able to track what's going on with the uh, management events okay um, and now um, only KMS keys, um, only KMS key bucket, uh, read write, enable the read write. Okay, this is the individual bucket selection. I don't want to do for all the buckets or future buckets that I create. So disable read and write for this. And just for the bucket that we have created. Now select read and write. Okay, and now go ahead and click on next. So now you can see uh, only monitor KMS key activity um, and also this is a trial location where you can see this is my bucket, this prefix AWS logs and my account ID and you can see all the um, general details and uh, there are no Cloudwatch logs of course and uh, API activity all um, and if you come down a bit all current and future buckets so I, I have not enabled read and write for all future buckets uh, this is the only bucket I have enabled like read and write and once you're happy with this and go ahead and click on trial create create trial okay um so now that i've created a trial uh so you can see uh, it started logging um you can you should be able to see the status um so this is uh, logging at the moment and now that we have created a trial um so now uh, let's go ahead uh, to our bucket and um, let's upload some objects and let's see uh, how our uh, logs are being stored and then later we will use Athena okay um, so now go to s3 bucket like so and click on only KMS key bucket uh, you can click on prefix AWS logs account ID cloud trial and there's no objects at the moment okay now click on only KMS bucket and click on upload and now go ahead and upload a object i'm going to upload the same object again um so bucket properties you should be able to use um specify encryption key use the bucket settings and choose the kms key upload okay um now that you have uploaded another object and also you can try and upload a different object let me try and upload a different object now um one of my object okay um and properties you don't need to select this by default you should be able to enable uh, the uh, encryption key uh, but for now just for the demonstration purpose i'm just um you know uh, just trying to show you uh, uh how you enable for in per individual object okay um so click on close once you are done with the upload and you should be able to see your two files just click refresh a couple of times and click on prefix and aws logs id and cloud trial so there are no logs yet but we'll have to wait uh, for some time and then we will see uh, how uh, you know um, how we can uh, uh, analyze these logs uh, using the Athena okay a few moments later so go to AWS logs and click refresh a couple of times and click on your account and then click on cloud trial there you go you now see the um, logs here US East 1 and 2023 month date and then you can see all the logs uh, from your cloud trial okay so now that you ha you, you are able to see the logs right so now uh, what we will do open up a duplicate this tab and go to athena uh, and let's create a table in athena okay uh, so that we can query the logs um so for this i think i do you don't need to go to athena so you what you can do is go to cloud trial again um click on cloud trial click on event history or yeah click on event history and there you go you see the create Athena table right so you can cl simply click the create uh, Athena table and choose the S3 bucket where you want to create which is in my case it is um, KMS key only KMS key bucket prefix and then uh, it will be it will go ahead and create a table which is cloud trial logs only KMS key bucket prefix and you should be able to have uh, you know um, this query ready uh, otherwise you can simply copy the query and go to athena and create a table but for now we, you can create a table right from here um, from the cloud trial okay go ahead and click on create table 
now successfully created table cloud trial and this is a link if you click on this link you will taken you will be taken directly into the Athena and then you can see the table um, that is just created and click the little dots so if you zoom in a bit you should be able to see something like this and click on this dots and click on preview table and zoom out you should be able to see the query has just run and you should be able to see all our logs um, and uh, uh, and you can track uh, what is uh, going on with the um, uh, your s3 bucket okay so this is the tribe this is the principal uh, who made uh, this is the user identity basically this is my account id root account and you should be able to see what changes has been made um, so this is the event name and you can see um, this is the AWS region and you can see the IP addresses as we have discussed we can see where is the request coming from and um, and uh, you should be able to track this and S3 console um, so what else we need uh, so if I scroll to the right see there was an event uh, which was no public access block configuration you can see the error message and also you can see these error messages uh, this is the bucket I think this you know why these logs are coming because I have given uh, if you remember in our bucket policy uh, we have just put a resource star that is why you are able to see um, logs for the other buckets as well uh, but you can filter out um, for only specific uh, for your buckets okay um, so if I scroll to the right um i'm just trying to find some information from this buckets um see this is an api aws api call you can see the event type um you can you can you know you can investigate this uh, a bit more further but i think this video has already become lengthy i'll try and cover uh, more about athena in coming videos but you can see how uh it easy to you know um, analyze your logs using athena okay and also you know try out some queries like if you're if you're master in queries just go ahead and and try uh some queries like event name uh, so what are the different event names that you have um uh that are you can see in the logs like you know get bucket SEL list access points list buckets there are multiple event types um and you can also limit um and see the logs uh, however and uh, how much logs you want to see just go ahead and run the query okay uh okay so something has happened remove the event name from here click on run and you should be able to run the queries and, and analyze, analyze all these logs from uh, Athena okay so uh, who made the call and you know uh, from which IP address you're getting the request and what region and you know you can de uh, debug this a lot and you can identify what's going on within your AWS account so if you guys really like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, please um, please share this video please subscribe to my channel I will try and do more videos um, and uh, if you have any queries or anything like that please use the comment section below and just drop your comments and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible okay guys I hope this gives some idea and uh, how to analyze the logs and uh, uh, about your account activity and uh, management events and data events like so so um, let's go ahead and um, you know uh, just clear uh, and do some cleanup activity if, if you guys are not using it just go ahead and clean up because that is a good thing to do uh, to avoid some uh, billing because uh, AWS uh, anyway AWS KMS um, keys you can start with 20,000 free requests uh, per month with AWS free tier but uh, uh, if you're not in the free tier let's go ahead and remove the keys uh, that you have created and also delete the um, rules and uh, also the uh, s3 bucket if you are not using it so just do let's let's do some cleanup activity now and for this let's go ahead and uh, go to KMS okay um, we will show you how you can um, you know um, delete the key so cloud demo uh, key just select the cloud demo key uh, which is what we have created in the demo and click on uh, key actions and go ahead and click on disable and select uh, confirm that you want to disable this key and disable the key okay now that you have disabled the key go ahead and select the key again and from the key actions schedule key deletion deletion and waiting period 30 days I don't think you need to wait for 30 days you can just put 7 because anywhere between 7 and 30 days it should be fine and click on confirm that you want to schedule these keys for deletion after a 7 day waiting period and go ahead and schedule the deletion okay um so now that you have uh, scheduled a um, 
key for deletion you can ignore this for now and it will be deleted after seven days okay and now if you go back to the uh, s3 bucket let's see how we can or let's go to cloud trial first okay and click on cloud trial i don't want to log anymore and um, go to the Murli monitor kms key activity and stop logging and now also you can click on delete and delete the cloud trial like so and uh, i think this is my previous one i'm gonna go and delete this one as well which is not needed for me and uh, we have deleted the cloud trial logs and if i go to s3 bucket because we have created a s3 bucket select that and click on kms Murli kms key bucket and click on empty like so zoom out permanently delete because if you do not empty the s3 bucket you wouldn't be able to delete it so click on um, so add the prompt permanently deleted text and click on uh, okay click on exit and now only kms key bucket select this and click on delete and copy the only kms key bucket text click on it paste it delete the bucket uh, okay so we have some error because try is not empty okay this is the reason why we not we not, we have to make this uh, bucket empty click on this and delete it and paste the permanently deleted text over here click on delete objects close this and go ahead buckets click on only kms key bucket delete it and just copy the text from here and click on delete bucket now what uh, is not empty let's see why it is not empty so you should be able to okay so there you go it was still logging and uh, so you can just go ahead and delete this again um, I don't think it is I don't think it has deleted previously uh, click on delete objects close this you should be able to delete uh, this I don't know if versioning is enabled but I, I don't think versioning is enabled and you have deleted all the objects now go back to the buckets click on Murli key chemist key bucket click on delete and copy this text I hope the bucket will be deleted this time um, ah there you go finally I've deleted the bucket and um, what I'm what I'm gonna do is uh, and also you can see this AWS Athena query results right because the uh, Athena stores the result in a separate bucket um, and uh, you can see all the logs uh, which are stored in a separate bucket and I don't think you need this bucket as well you just go ahead and select this bucket and empty the bucket first um, and then you can you should be able to delete it okay so let's see uh, click copy the permanent delete and empty the bucket click exit and now go ahead and select the AWS Athena query results click on delete and now just copy the AWS Athena query results US East one copy it and paste it delete the bucket there you go you have to now successfully deleted all the buckets um, I think this was my uh, previous example bucket so I think I will do it later and uh, if I go to uh, role I have which I have created I am role right uh, I have this policy which I've created recently KMS key just cop select that and actions and delete it you don't need this uh, policy because if you're not using it just delete the AWS resource delete the uh, resources that you have created in AWS because that is such a good practice that you know you don't forget to remove um, uh, the resources that you have used in AWS because everything is built if you're in free, free tier of course um, some features are free but if you're uh, not in a free tier uh, then definitely please go ahead and delete all that you have created in AWS because everything is billable so make sure uh, you do not um, end up in a huge bill okay <laughs> like when I was in my initial days I had uh, to pay a lot of uh, bills so um, so go ahead and click on uh, Muli KMS key role click on delete and select the KMS key role like that just go ahead and delete it okay um I think we have pretty much cleared everything and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like share subscribe and please use the comment section below to comment and ask any questions if you have and uh, please give me any suggestions any feedback is welcome um, and uh, please thank you so much please like this channel and let's grow this community and let's build some awesome awesome solution architectures and we will create a hell lot of things from AWS okay and uh, thank you so much I really appreciate uh, for your time for watching this video and thank you so much and 
and uh, please uh, please 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 subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and thank you so much i will see you guys in the next video